Hey, I just want to do a quick video about business continuity plans. Uh, with the current events going on, and also when you think back a couple weeks ago with the tornado that ravaged through the business di district of Nashville, this seems to be a very uh, hot topic among businesses and our clients alike. Uh, so a few things that I want to communicate to you today is, you know, what does a business continuity plan look like? And some things you need to think about um, if you've got a plan or maybe you're in the process of developing the plan. Uh, the first thing you need to think about is having a good disaster recovery plan. Uh, I sort of look at disaster recovery and business continuity as two separate operations. Uh, but in order to continue your operations, you have to be able to recover uh, your systems and data. Uh, you need access to your customer list, your ERP, your operational systems, you know, any unstructured data that you have uh, in order to um, operate your business. Uh, when you get to your business continuity plan, some of the important features you need to think about. One is you've got to have a team of individuals that can help you help you manage through the crisis. So this can be made up of you know your internal resources and managers and executives need to be a part of that team. But also think about the third parties that you work with, whether it be your your IT service providers, uh, your carriers that uh, provide your internet, uh, your key vendors and key customers, key suppliers. Uh, all those may or may not be need to be part of your team. Also think about legal, uh, financial, and resources like that. that. These are people you'll need to bring in uh, to help you get through a continuity plan. All of them may not be part of your crisis management team, but there are all contacts you need to have within your plan uh, so you can reference it uh, in the future. Uh, another thing you need to think about when it comes to uh, business continuity is what I think is one of the most important things is communication. Uh, the uh, information is, is always difficult and always, uh, you know, scarce in times of crisis. And that's no different when it's just a crisis with your company. So you need to think about, you know, how are you going to communicate with your employees, how you're going to communicate with your vendors, uh, your customers, and, uh, you know, various other parties you may be working with. So, you know, I think first about email. You know, what does your email system look like? Uh, you know, a lot of people use hosted email. Uh, which means it, it can continue operating even if uh, your building's destroyed or you lose connectivity and so forth. But you need to think about, well, you know, email is such an important communication to me in this. How is your email system going to survive any type of event that you may encounter? Think about your phone system. Uh, you know, many customers and clients and business have call centers and they take orders over the phone. Uh, you know, are you going to be able to continue doing that? And does your phone system and is it set up? to allow you to continue doing that. Even if your site, uh, your main site may be destroyed or call center could be destroyed or you may not be, be able to access it. I think a third thing is think about communication and collaboration with your employees and among your employees. Uh, email's great, the phone's great, but platforms like Slack and Microsoft Teams are great tools for you to use to communicate with your employees. Uh, you know, whether directly or also as part of a channel uh, you know, they're, they're able to almost have instant communication with each other and collaborate and continue to collaborate on projects and customers and, and different business through those platforms. And finally, you know, as the crisis management team takes, uh, looks at this and the event rolls on uh, to continue business, they need to have a way to communicate with employees as a whole. So I really recommend platforms like Zoom or GoToWeb uh, where you can set up daily uh, you know, every other day meetings, uh, you know, with your employees to keep them engaged, let them know what's going on, you know, give them, you know, good information uh, so they'll feel good about where the company is going and what's being done to manage through whatever crisis. Also, I think it's important that as a leadership team, you also have this type of meetings, uh, whether daily meetings to evaluate the current situation, uh, where the business is, uh, and also to uh, make sure that whatever decision, everybody's on the same page. Uh, for the decisions that are made. Um, and finally, you need to think about, you know, all your financial uh, situation as well. Uh, there may be interruption in your business. You may not be able to collect cash. You may not be able to do billing, uh, you know, but bills are still going to come in the mail or they're still going to be delivered to you. So you need to, to talk to your insurance. You need to talk to your banker. Uh, you need to talk to your CPA uh, and, and make sure that uh, you understand what options may be available to you uh, if you face a continuity business situation, uh, that way, uh, if you need uh, extra lines of credit or, or maybe you need to uh, get funds from an insurance company, make a claim that all those people are in the know about your plans and also uh, stand ready to help you weather the storm. So 
Hopefully these tips and, and what I presented today will be helpful to you. If you've got some additional questions or maybe you'd like uh, one of our guys to look over your plan, then we'd be happy to do that for you. Just give us a call. Thanks a lot.